satellite images show five possible mass graves on the outskirts of Burundi's capital at sites consistent with testimony by witnesses who accused security forces of killing dozens of people in December, Amnesty International says. Brazil is calling on the international community to join hands in fighting against the sudden outbreak of Zika virus and work together to develop a vaccine. The World Health Organization warned yesterday that the Zika virus is spreading explosively in the Americas and predicted that 4 million people in South America could be affected along with 1.5 million in Brazil. While refugee camps on the Greek island of Lesbos have witnessed a reduced inflow of refugees due to harsh winter and poor sea conditions, their operations might get challenging once weather clears out and additional refugees arrive. Myanmar's parliament, dominated by Nobel Peace Laureate Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy, is due to start on February 1st. The party's landslide election victory in November is sweeping out the old guard of former generals who have run Myanmar, also known as Burma, and ushering in what will be the first democratically elected government in decades. A severe storm hit Sydney today with footage showing Sydney Tower in the center of the city getting a direct hit by a lightning strike. West of the city, major damage west of the city, major damage was caused to properties as trees were uprooted, falling across roads and crashing through houses.